In this video, we're going to assess the fatness of two steers. We're going to be doing, at first we're going to be looking at the visual cues for fatness to estimate the number of mils of P8 fat and after that we'll get them in the crush to also add a manual assessment to uh, reinforce the things that we've seen in these animals. The areas that I'm looking at to visually assess fatness, starting from the back of the animal, would be either side of the, the tail head or the pin bones. I'm also looking at the seams in the butt or rump of the animal. Uh, from side on, I'm also looking at the flank of the animal and moving forward, looking at the brisket or, or dewlap in these uh, animals which have got some Bos indicus content. I might also be looking at uh, how obvious ribs or, or muscle might be as that will give me some indication of whether there is any fat cover. In this lighter steer here you can see that there is not much fat deposit around the tail head and as he walks you can see obvious muscle seams in the hind quarter of that animal and that would tell me straight away that he would have six mils or less at the P8 site. I can also see as he walks some fairly obvious muscle definition. I can see that he, there's not much let down of the flank there telling me he hasn't laid down a lot of fat and also very little fat in the, in the brisket of that animal. So all of those things would tell me that he would be uh, most likely around three or four mils of fat at the P8 site, which would put him at the, the bottom end of fat score two. So as well as the side on view of the, of the brown steer, we can also see from his rear on view that there hasn't been a lot of fill in, in the twist area between the legs. Again, I'm looking at this animal and I'm not seeing any filling of the fat either side of that tail head again indicating that that animal is quite lean. So the larger black steer is showing some more uh, Bos indicus characteristics, so more loose skin in the pizzle area and also in the, in the brisket. But regardless of that, we're still looking at the same areas to, to visually assess his fatness. And you can see that he has a lot more uh, filling of those areas that we looked at in the brown steers. So in particular, there is more fat in the brisket. Uh, you can see either side of the tail head there around the pins that there are obvious de uh, fat deposits there. We looked at those muscle seams, which were obvious in the brown steer, have now been filled in with fat. The rear on, the animal is filling with fat between the legs in the twist and also in the cod and is also uh, showing more fat fill in the flank. The muscle seams on the small brown steer were obvious. With the large black steer, they've become filled in and in fact are starting to protrude. So we know that he would have at least seven mils of fat at the P8 site. That puts him to the middle or lower end of fat score three. Next we're going to put the animals in the crush and also manually assess these animals just to back up our visual assessment. 